I'm going to go ahead and get started uh, with the recognition of our student athletes. Coach Gillespie. Coach Gillespie is going to recognize uh, our cross country student athletes and our boys track student athletes. Um, as far as the cross country goes, I'm going to knock that out first. And I guess this is one of those things for all the rest of the coaches. You guys get to see what I do wrong, so you can correct yours on the other side. Of uh, first thing, I want to thank anyone that was uh, had anything to do with the food that we just had. That was awesome. Appreciate that. Um, Get going with this and get this knocked out on my uh, cross country. I know there's a few of the kids here. Um, you want me to just have them stand up? Where at? If you just stand up as I call your name, uh, Jessica Ferris, Brianna Counts, Daisy Van Meter, Priest Graham. I don't think she's here tonight. I didn't see her. Uh, Rachel Montgomery. I didn't see her either. My Powders, Holly Stewart, and Scott and Notley. Uh, These are my cross country girls. Um, <laughs> my cross country boys. Yes, ladies, if you will remain standing, please. Uh, cross country boys. Uh, Colton Green. I didn't see him here. Uh, Mark Rome. Michael Haney. Mason Martin. I know you're here. Brady Smithson. I did not see him. And Betty Raffman. Um, year of, of uh, consecutive uh, state meet um, appearances, and my boys are in the 14th year of their consecutive state appearance, and I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, both finished ninth overall state meet, and we're hoping for more uh, next year, because we've already talked about that, and hopefully we'll get to that particular point. Okay, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> on that. See, this is one of those instances. Uh, my, uh, one of my girls was the state champion, which was Daisy, and one of my boys was the ch uh, state champion, which was Colton, and they were two uh, year consecutive at doing that in the cross country name. On my track, um, I just have the boys on the track side of it. Uh, Colton Green, who is not here? Uh, Mark Carone, Walker Taylor, Dalton Cameron or Kramer, uh, Christian Hawk, and I know Christian's here. Uh, Michael Haney, Mason Martin, Nick Pat, Kobe Johnson, Lady Grafman, and Adam Clevino.
Kayla Wallace and Cameron Wallace, and also Patience Whitlock and Haley Kern. Invitational Champs, Henrietta Black and Gold Track Meet Champs, Conowa Invitational Champs, Thunderbird Conference Champs for like the fifth time in a row or maybe <laughs> Regional Champs, uh, the seniors, this is their fourth time to be regional champions in a row. <laughs>
High Point Champion Award. So that was a big deal as a squad. We were really excited about that. And then um, for me as a coach, I think that as a squad, our, one of our biggest accomplishments was just really pushing ourselves this year. I mean, these girls got a halftime routine the night before the game, like all through basketball season, and they picked it up and somehow would show up at the game. We would mess it up right before we went out, and then they just pulled it off. And so I think that they really pushed themselves to the limit, and they surprised themselves with a lot of the stunts and the tumbling that they accomplished. And um, I'm just really proud of these girls. So thank you, guys, and thank you, parents. Okay, next up, if I could have Coach Wood come up to recognize the boys basketball and baseball. First, I'd like to recognize and say a thank you to three individuals. Two of them are not here tonight, but they uh, were very important to us this season. Uh, my assistant, Cody Prater, uh, he helped me with the sixth grade all the way up. And anything I needed, he, he was the only one to help with, and I really appreciate that. The uh, second individual was our stat keeper, Rick Morris. And if you guys have ever done stats, realize that he saved. Coach Ray and I, a lot of hours of going back and looking at film and stacking games ourselves. And I really appreciate his uh, travel to the games. And, and he, he had the notebook, just, just a very professional way of doing it. Then our third one, and he covers, he covers Henrietta in everything that we do. And that's Bruce Jones. Everybody give him a hand. Stand Deb Longan, Riley Berry, Keith Concher, Braxton Taylor, Brandon Murphy, Lil Lewis, Avery Moore, Jarrett Day, Pepper Logan, Kobe Johnson, and Tiger Freeman. And a Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> this season and uh, they they did a tremendous job uh, real proud of them I know as everybody else is and I think they'll come back and do an extremely good job next year also thank you coach fear we have you come to the front and recognize our baseball Okay, I'm, I'm going to have my brother out here for a second. Kylie, Khalil, Ryder, Garrett, Hunter, Eric, Darren, Hayden, Nathan, Raymond, and Thane. Uh, <clears throat> I know at, at the moment, Coach is a little bit, maybe a little bit emotional. And I'm sure everybody can understand why. <clears throat> I'm going to speak in his behalf, and hopefully I won't butcher this too badly, but uh, obviously, you know, there, this man here, we, he, uh, and most of you may not know it, but we go back to college days. We, uh, we, we, played, we uh, played a lot of softball together in college and, and skipped a couple classes together, but you students don't even know that, right? <laughs> 
as far as baseball goes, I think as Henrietta, you guys have been really, really honored. You've been privileged to have Coach here to do the job that he's done in the past and also this year. Right? So, he. <laughs> Sometimes a man can be a little rough around the edges, but that's all good training, right, boys? Yeah. I'm sure that you wouldn't want to have it any other way. Uh, I don't, I, you know, me personally, I haven't been here in town except for weekends, maybe pretty much for about the last few years. And uh, Coach Ward had mentioned Bruce a few minutes ago. I, I want to say Bruce. I don't think anybody here can appreciate what Bruce has done with the live streaming of ball games more so than myself. Because with me living in Lawton and with me living in Norman for the past five years, I've watched my daughter play more ball games on a computer than I have actually in person. So Bruce, I personally want to say thank you myself. So everybody would just be good. It's been tough. Uh, you know, the day before the season, they call me and tell me, you know, I'm done. You know, it's hard to go down and look at the guys and say, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know who's going to coach. I don't know what's going to go on. Uh, you know, I called Coach Ward. You know, the great club this hard. He came down and said, sure, I'll help you. And, you know, so I get Coach Dean, Coach Ward down there. They get running around the boys of baseball. And they come down and did a great job. The, the coach King had to take the junior high guys. The coach Ward was by himself. Coach King was by himself. And that, you know, if you've never been around baseball, it's hard. If you've never been around the guys and know what's going on, and these guys fought hard. I watched them every game. And I'm so proud of them. You know, it hurts so bad. The last time you see guys that don't get to play no more. Uh, you know, DJ, I've had him since six years old. And to see him in his last game, it's tough if you care about him. And I just want to tell you guys, thanks. I appreciate it. And also, I don't know what the award is, but if you got a, uh, the uh, Outstanding Baseball Award from the Creek, the, the Creek Nation worth uh, $250. Oh. Yeah. 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 Thanks. Thanks, guys. Let me just say one thing. Coach Fuhrer, when he said that Coach Keen and I were alone, no. Uh, I promise you, we asked him more questions. Uh, what did he want us to do? How did he want us to do it? Uh, all the credit for the baseball program goes to that man right there. He's been here 15 or more years. And the, the baseball program has been excellent because of what he and the players who have played for him have done. And all you got to do is go down to the baseball facility and go around it in there, and you'll see, you know, baseball is only a sport that doesn't get the spotlight sometimes because of when it occurs and we're off campus. I'm telling you, that man is the face of Henrietta Baseball, and you need to appreciate him because he's, he's done so much, you know, for the program here, and kept it alive, kept it at a high, high level for many years. And uh, we all wish him the best in what he's going to face this summer. And, and the baseball program will be back, and he'll be back also. Next, we'll have Coach Jeremy Johnson come uh, come forward and recognize football and power. I want to thank all of you for coming out tonight. Uh, 
great opportunity to, to honor all these athletes. I uh, want to thank the administrators that are here and uh, any school board members that are here for for all the support that you've given us through, uh, throughout this year. Coach Ray, um, I don't know how many times I came to Coach Ray and was saying, hey, what do I need to do here? What do I need to do on this? And uh, we always managed to figure out an answer somehow, so uh, I appreciate everything he did for me. Uh, I want to appreciate uh, Coach Hughes and, and uh, Coach King, and uh, also Coach Prater. And, uh, these guys put in a lot of hours uh, during the season, on the weekends, uh, looking at a lot of film, uh, griping at each other about different things. And, and uh, somehow we always managed to, to come up with a plan, even when we, we didn't think we were going to be able to. But I appreciate everything they did for it uh, and, and for the players. Um, I'd also like to uh, say a thank you to, to Rick uh, for doing the stats. Uh, you know, that's one less thing that we have to do on Saturday mornings and, and one less thing we have to do as far as calling in papers and stuff. It's a, it's a big, big help to us. Um, I know I've, this is the second place that I've been where I've had somebody that did the stats, and I'm always kind of leery of, of turning that over to somebody because, you know, I'm afraid they're going to miss a tackle or, you know, not give somebody credit for something, not get it right. So when we first got here, uh, my first year as an assistant, you know, when he brought the stuff down to us, I had the film out, went through the film, and was checking it and stuff. And, he didn't miss a thing, so I uh, appreciate everything he did for us. I um, want to thank the quarterback club for all their support. Uh, they uh, provided everything we needed uh, throughout the year, fed the kids after the games. Uh, we're always there to support. Uh, they started uh, tailgate uh, before the home games this year. If you didn't get an opportunity to be a part of that, hopefully uh, you'll be able to take advantage of that next season. Um, all right, I'm going to mention the uh, the players now. I'll just go through the roster here, and then, and then you can uh, applaud for them at the end. Uh, when I call your name, guys, stand up if you're here. Kylie Johnson, Bo Adams, Michael Snyder, Brandon Murphy, Tiger Freeman, Jared Day, Devin Longin, Jeremy Delacau, Jordan Pearson, Zach Taylor, Blake Van Meter, Stephen Slade, Avery Moore, Eric Gray, Sean Thompson, Giovanni Minyard, Riley Berry, Alan Hargis, Garrett Flannery, Brett Williams, Kyle Tarkington, Hayden Horton, Bryce Sanford, um, Christian Hawk, Dakota Padgett, Raymond Harrington, Dalton Kramer, Dalton Carnes, TJ Boyles, Ben Lachey, Ryder Hudson, Kristen Cochran, Aaron Burrs, Kobe Johnson, Tanner Dodge, and also uh, two young ladies that helped us this past season. Uh, they worked extremely hard. They stayed and helped paint the field. Uh, they did laundry on Saturdays. They were uh, just great help. Zoe Benton and Leah Delacau. Uh, was a co-receiver of the year in District 285. 
and Kylie Johnson was the co-cornerback of the year uh, in District 2A5, and Devin, Kylie, and Eric Gray were all first team all district. Um, Devin and Eric were uh, chosen to be in the Lake Ufala All-Star Classic. Um, Eric is uh, not going to be able to play in that, but Devin will be playing Saturday night uh, in Ufala at 7 o'clock. to the state tournament. Abby Green. <laughs> Nicole Robinson. Nicole's a sophomore. She won the Olive Tournament. She won the Okamogi Tournament. She finished in the top five in five out of seven tournaments we went to this year. She qualified to the regional meet. And it's as the second qualifier, and then qualified the state as the fourth qualifier, and medaled at the state meet in tenth place. Nicole Robinson. I'll let Greg do the boys. I'm too old. I can't remember all those names. Well, boys, Hopefully next year we're going back to state tournament. 
did a lot more time than there. Now I'd like to have Coach Mosco come forward to recognize the boys and girls tennis. Hey, first of all, uh, everyone for coming out. I'm glad to see everybody out here tonight. And uh, just like has been mentioned from many of the other coaches, uh, definitely, definitely appreciate all the parents and how you support and how you are involved with our programs. Uh, appreciate our administration, Ms. Nova, Ms. Vine. Uh, Ms. Wine and Coach Ray for allowing us to do the things that we do. Uh, I know we're a lot of times we're uh, especially with my sport we're out of school quite a bit for tournaments during the day and this year was very hectic with all the rain. Uh, we were out. I was I'm at six days in a row, so not you know not necessarily the best situation, but uh, we got it, we got it done. Okay, uh, Bruce, appreciate you. Uh, and I uh, appreciate all the coaches okay, that, that I work with, all the teachers that we work with, the staff here is great. Okay? You uh, students, okay, you, have, you have great coaches, great staff here. Okay? Uh, uh, we'll get to my girls team. Um, I'll just go ahead and introduce them. There's quite a few of them. Um, Kaylee Bain, if you'd stand up, junior. Uh, Kelsey Britt, junior. Summer Bryant, freshman. Uh, Shelby Gaddy, Jr. Kimberly Hay is a freshman. Sadie Hurd, I think this year, she's a freshman. Uh, Alyssa King is a senior. Sydney King, a sophomore. Rachel Montgomery, sophomore. Redden Morrison, sophomore. Morgan Padgett, uh, senior. Kayla Patch, Jr. Fallon Rogers, uh, freshman. Hayden Weaver, a sophomore. And Felicity Yates will be a junior, our Australian exchange student, who we are going to miss. Okay. Uh, girls team, girls team had a great year. Okay. We, won, we won five tournaments this year, uh, five invitational tournaments. Went on to win the regional tournaments. Um, I'll go ahead and go through my, my top six players, the ones that played at regionals and stayed. Um, number one singles was a freshman, Fallon Rogers. She was third place at regionals and qualified for the state tournament. You gotta get in the top four at your position at regionals to get to the state tournament. Okay, as a freshman, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Another match at the state tournament, so, so she did well up there, and uh, we're very proud of her. Two singles with Shelby Gaddy, a junior. Okay, um, regional runner-ups, and also state qualifier. Um, gotta get in the top eight at state, and both of my singles players, Alan and Shelby just missed out again in that top eight. They had a tough match, uh, close match, it would put them. Uh, they turned that around just a bit. They'd have been on the, well, maybe on the podium. Okay, you got to get in the top five and plus. Okay. Uh, one doubles, Alyssa King and Morgan Padgett, both seniors, who we are going to miss very much. Yeah. Uh, regional champion this year, and they were fourth at the state tournament. Doubles, Kaylee Bain Jr., Kelsey Britt Jr., um, regional champions, once again. Okay. And this group, I don't know if you guys follow tennis, I don't know if you know how the scoring goes, but uh, they split sets in the state finals. Okay. They got to the state finals, they split sets, meaning uh, they, they won set, the other team won set, and it came down to the third and final set, uh, and when we dropped it 6 3, really close, really close to being state champion. They were state runner ups. So. champions and um, kind of had an eighth place finish at the state tournament with the boys. 
Texas. Okay, the, the positions, one singles was Tyler Dunn, he was fourth at regionals, uh, and played or qualified for the state tournament because he did not place. Two singles, Eli Palmer was a junior. Uh, he was runner up at regionals and a state qualifier as well. He did win a match at state, uh, real close to placing. Okay, but he's back next year and we're looking for, looking for some good things. Okay, uh, one doubles was Kate Bailey and Matt Weberty, both seniors. Okay, we're going to miss those two uh, a bunch. Okay, um, they're moving on to bigger and better things though. They were regional champions and they were fourth place at the state tournament. So very good to see you. Okay, members of this particular club, Haley Cook, Allie Flannery, Anna Gadge, Dre Hammer, Melissa Osterdahl, Bailey Fighters, and Kayla Walls, those are my seniors. Juniors, Haley Dunn, Kendall Perez, and Mackenzie Roberts. Sophomores, Kyle Beaver, Cherie Graham, Caprice Graham, Maddie Gouch, and Leah Delca. Freshman, Cheyenne Bullard, Maddie James, and Camry Wallace. And my manager was Addison A.D. Dallas. Yeah. These, these are my slow pitch teammates. We just got the Florida State Tournament Tuesday. Uh, it's been pushed back 13 days. Uh, I was beginning to wonder if we were ever going to play it. Uh, we ended up as a, as a state semifinalist. Uh, we lost on Tuesday, 42 in the state semifinals. Very close game, took a lead in the seventh inning game, could have won either way. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't go our way. Uh, but I couldn't be more proud of these ladies. Uh, district champions, regional champions. Uh, we finished third in the Moss tournament, fourth in the Wetumpka tournament. We finished with a record of 31 and 8. Uh, this team also received the OSSAA Distinguished Academic Certificate based on their grade point average. I believe it was a 3.47 team GPA. We also found out earlier this week that we had, we had two All-Staters, uh, those being Alyssa Osterdock and McCabe. This is a wonderful senior class and it's a wonderful team. Anytime I call practice, these young ladies showed up. Sometimes they even called on their own and said, Coach Ray, will you open the field or open the head facility when you need to practice? You don't find that dedication very often, especially in today's society. Um, I, I, Coach Ishmael and I talked about this today. I may coach another 20 years and I may never coach a group like this with this work ethic and kind of ability and desire that they had to succeed. Ladies, you, you made this old man, you made this old man one happy gal the last couple of years, and, and I really enjoyed it. And like I told you today, I'd do anything in the world for you. And don't ever hesitate to ask. Okay. The, the last person that I want to thank as far as slow pitch softball is concerned is Miss Ishmael. Miss Ishmael's been with me. She's my assistant coach for Jenny Ishmael. She came with me when I came over from Malika. She's been with me for a long time. Uh, and 
she's one of those assistants that, you know, if she, if she thinks I'm doing something wrong, she's going to tell me. If I need to put on her rubber boots and rake the field or drag the field when it's, when it's muddy, she's right there beside me. Uh, I couldn't ask for a better assistant coach. Thank you, Coach Ish. Okay, I'd like to recognize my girls' basketball team next. Uh, if you play for the girls' basketball team, the ladies, please stand. We have senior Hannah Gouge, Dre Hammer, Michaela Wallace, juniors uh, A.D. Ellis, or Anderson Ellis, excuse me. Uh, sophomores, Maddie Gouge, Caprice Graham, and freshman Kimberly A., Maddie James, and Cameron Clark. We were the uh, Constellation Champions of the Old Monkey County Tournament to advance to the second round of the region. Because of injury and limited numbers, there was, uh, I've got to hand it to these ladies, there were many nights that I felt like we were taking it. We were taking a knife to a gunfight when other teams have got 15 players and we've got six or seven. But these ladies never quit. Uh, they practiced hard. Uh, they give you every ounce of effort that a coach could ever ask for. You know, other teams are subbing kids in and out, giving them breaks. And, and my, you know, my six or seven, they just got to tell them how they got to go. And they, they, they never complained. They never griped. Uh, and they, they just kept fighting hard to the end. And ladies, I appreciate that. Uh, coach Ishmael was also my assistant coach in basketball as well, too. Uh, we have an individual recognition. Anna Gouge uh, was selected to the uh, Indiana All-State team. So give Anna a round of applause. <laughs> and just like DJ in baseball, we're made aware of these uh, for the love of the game scholarships today. Uh, Hannah was also awarded one. In the amount of $250. And we would have presented these yesterday if he had the awards of singles, but they were just awarded today. So we're going to have Seniors, Haley Cook, Allie Flannery, Anna Gouge, Dre Hamrick, Alyssa Oshadog, Bailey Batters, Taylor Wallace, uh, juniors, Kenneth Perez, and Kenzie Roberts. Uh, sophomores, Matt Gouge, Cherie Graham, Kyle Beaver, freshman, Abby Green, Matt James, Cameron Wallace, and Shelby Bullock. These young ladies, we were runner up in the top ball tournament. We were district champions, we were regional champions. We finished with a record of 32 and four, and we were the class 3A state runner up. <laughs> These young ladies also received the Distinguished Academic Certificate from the OSSA for their accomplishments in the classroom. And again, just like the comments I made for Slow Chris Softball, uh, I'm really going to miss this group. Uh, I don't think it'll really hit me. Tell them more now when about six or seven of them walk across the stage and they get to the phone and you realize, hey, there goes, there goes a pretty special group. But you underclassmen, you've got to learn. You've got to learn to uh, pick up the slack, step in there, and try to fill their shoes. And it, it's just been a wonderful. It's been a wonderful season. Uh, Softball, basketball, I mean, I can't ask for better kids to coach. Uh, parents, you know, you, you've done a great job raising your kids. And they hold themselves accountable. They're, they're responsible. When you give them a task, they do it. They, they do it, no questions asked. Uh, you know, they, they've left a lot of blood, sweat, and tears after almost ball fields on that basketball court. And a lot of them, you know, a lot of that. Uh, falls back on you parents and, and I just want to thank you for, for raising such wonderful kids and giving me the uh, coaches when I have the opportunity to rest the coaches here, uh, the opportunity to coach such wonderful kids. 
Uh, I'd also like to thank my booster club uh, and in the grants to help volunteer. Without, you, without your assistance, both financially and volunteering hours, uh, a lot of things that our kids got to enjoy that they, they never would have got to experience. And I just want to thank you for it. Um, some of the schools that I've worked at before, you know, I pretty much did everything myself. And I'm just telling you, it, it's wonderful to work at a place where, where people are willing to help you achieve your goals. So you should be applauded for that. We had three individual uh, all stages in fast pitch. Uh, that, that rarely happens, uh, but, but we were fortunate enough to have three all stages and for fast pitch, and those are Andrea Hammer, Alyssa Osterdock, and Michaela Walls. <laughs> the fast pitch all state game will be held on June 13th at, at Oklahoma Christian. Uh, in Edmond, and then the slow pitch all-state game is the following Saturday on June 20th at the same location. Uh, hopefully, the, I don't think we'll get rained out there. Uh, that, that field's got our official turf, so, so we shouldn't get rained out there. Okay, the last thing I'd like to do is, is I would like to, to say thank you to, to all the volunteers that helped me uh, prepare this food, that helped me decorate. I, I know Karen, you Truly appreciate it. Uh, everyone that helped serve in the you know serving the food line, who helped us prepare the food. Uh, words can't say enough. I, I can't thank you enough for, for, for assisting with this because without you, none of this would be possible. Uh, Mr. Noble, Mr. Bond, uh, the school board, uh, thank you for the opportunity to to work at Interred Public Schools. Thank you for the opportunity that you provide our student athletes, both in the classroom and and on the ball field, or on the, on the, on the courts. Uh, you know, that that kind of support, uh, it, it goes a long way uh, toward making our program successful. There's an individual I, you know, I'd like to recognize. Uh, he's no longer gonna be with us, with us and I, I, I coached with him last year and I had the opportunity to work with him again this year. Uh, Mr. Ward and his wife, uh, they're about to add another chapter uh, to their to their teaching legacy. And Mr. Ward, I, I just wanted to say uh, thank you for all you've done for the kids at Interactive Public Schools. Uh, thank you for what you've done with the basketball program. Uh, I don't think I'll ever be able to find another one that will work as hard as you to try to, try to prepare our student athletes to excel on the basketball court. Uh, and I used to joke uh, many times during basketball season we'd be, you know, be 11 or 12 o'clock when we get in. We were the first ones back to work at 6.45 the next morning. You have a tremendous work, it, work ethic. Uh, you know, I really enjoyed the time I got to spend with you. I uh, don't think I'll ever be able to replace you, but I wish you and Miss Ward the best of luck in, in, in the next chapter of your life and in the success at, the, at your new position. So, Coach, thank you. <laughs> Coaches uh, that, that work in the public schools, whether you're a head coach or assistant coach or a lead coach. I, I can't express enough the, the gratitude that, that I have for you guys and what you do. This is not an easy profession. Uh, we spend a lot of hours away from our family, uh, and, and we do it because we love it. And, and I just want to thank you for the, for the time and dedication that you put in. To prepare our student athletes for, for a lot of life's lessons because that's what they learn uh, in, in athletics. So, guys, gals, thank you very much. Okay, Mr. Bond, we've reached your spot in the program.
uh, I just want to thank the Coach Ray, especially. He, uh, we had him as our athletic director this year, and I can just tell you now that he's been invaluable for me. Um, he takes the weight off my shoulders. He makes sure that our student athletes have everything they could possibly want, and they, he helps our coaches. He pours his heart out into our students, into helping our staff grow as coaches and make sure, our, uh, make sure our teams are properly equipped and our kids are protected on the field. And I just think that's something that um, when I go to a game and I get to watch our kids participate, that I know that uh, he and our, and our coaching staff has done everything possible to make sure our kids are prepared, make sure our kids can compete, and make sure our kids are safe when they're out on the field. And that's something that just can never be replaced. And I just want to tell you thank you for that. Uh, secondly, I just want to say to our student athletes, um, you have no easy task being a student athlete. Balancing your studies, balancing sometimes jobs and other things in your life and your academics. It takes a lot of hard work and dedication to be prepared in the, on the field and in the classroom and still have time for yourselves and for your families and for your friends. And I think that I just want to tell you that I admire each and every one of you and I admire the hard work you put in and I admire your dedication to your sports and I especially admire your dedication to your team and I want to thank you for that as well. I just want to thank all of our coaches in the room. Um, I had a chance to sit down and talk to Mr. Ward today for quite a while. Um, I think we'll probably spend a good hour just chatting. And it's mostly him talking to me because I think that, um, I, I admit, I learned a lot from people around me, and I never profess to know everything. And I, that conversation I spent with Mr. Ward today um, was enlightening for me. He showed a heart of a person who cared about his students and would do anything for them. And uh, I'm going to tell you now, I'm going to really miss having him and this award at our school. And I think that they are both just wonderful people, and I just want to thank them. And uh, for Coach Fuhrer, um, I know he's had a hard time this year, but I tell you, um, I don't think I've met a, 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 a giant of a man like him who had his heart as big as he has for his students and his players. And I just want to tell you guys that uh, I think he's probably one of the most wonderful men I've met here. You know, two men well, and I, I just want to appreciate. And uh, I think that's about all I can say about everyone that I think are, that I think all of you are just wonderful human beings and great coaches. And I think our kids benefit from them every day. So I just want to thank you all. Thank you, please. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. And with that, good night and have a great evening. And be safe.